Ms. Tucker, when were you and Mr. Lamaru in a relationship? Our relationship began in June of 2016. And ended? September 2017. What money do you think he owes you? He owes me money for, there was a time in his life where he was very, very broke. He wasn't working. He was waiting for retirement money from the state of Connecticut. He was waiting for approximately $29,000 to come in. What, what was that time? On June 16th. 2016. June, June 16th, that's when you first started Correct. to have a relationship. Now, were you living together? No. Did you ever live together? No. Did you ever live in his house? I stayed overnight at his house. How often? Several times a week. How many is several? I would go home maybe two nights a week. So you stayed at his house the majority of the week? Majority. Right. From when to when did you stay at his house the majority of the week? It was starting in September. September of 2016, when did you stop staying at his house five nights a week? Well, he left abruptly. He left for, to go to Hawaii for three months. Mm -hmm. He left me in charge of his house, his children, his pets. So, you know, Miss Tucker, I'm not believing you. I just have to tell you, from the get-go, I'm not believing you. When you have a failed relationship and you've been living in his house, that's clear. I read the papers. He left for several months. He went to take care of ranch, his grandchildren in Hawaii. You were at his house. Now, you have children, I correct? Do. And you do not have custody of your children. I do have custody of my children. Did you then? Yes. Did you have physical custody of your children at the time you were staying at his house five nights a week? I was a nursing student, so I, they. Did you, uh, Miss Tucker, yes, aren't I you did. fine? You yes, didn't. I did. You did not. You did not have physical custody when you were staying at his house five nights a week. How do I know that? Because I'm going to ask him, and because you said it. There was a period of time that what you were doing, his house was a midway point between where your children were and where you were. You would visit with them, and they came, according to what I read in the complaint and answer, you did bring your children to his house on occasion, but the children's physical custody, they did not go to school from where you were living. That is correct. All right. Well, that's custody. Where they go to school Monday through Friday, whoever takes care of them Monday through Friday has custody of the children, physical custody. So between June of 2016 and September of 2017, did you have physical custody of your children? Yes, I have joint legal custody of my That's children. That's not with what my I asked you. That, do you understand why I'm not believing you? Do you understand what I'm not believing? But they go to school in the town of Watertown, Connecticut, where my ex husband lives. They yes. live with their father in Connecticut and go to school from their father's house in Connecticut. Does that exist today as well? Yes. 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 So that you have joint legal custody, maybe, I don't know that, but your father yes, has primary do. physical custody and you have visitation with them, I assume, on weekends. And oftentimes during the week as well. Maybe, if you get yes. there. Okay, fine. As long as we understand where it's yes. at. Now, in the time when you were staying at his house five nights a week, and then when he went away to Hawaii to take care of his grandchildren, is that the period of time that you say he owes you money for? Yes, he does. Okay. And when you were living at his house, how much rent did you pay? I have my own mortgage, so we I never... Thought, that's not what I asked no, you. No, I didn't When you pay were living at his house... I didn't pay any rent. Well, do you understand where we're going, Ms. Tucker? I do. Very good. I'm glad you understand where we're going. But I feel like I need to explain a little bit more. You have three minutes, and I have a very I'll, busy day. I you also have, have a my own mortgage. Case. I was paying all of the household bills for his home and my own, taking care of his children and my own, going you to school. You weren't taking care of your own children. Yes, the I your was. Children live, your children live with their father. He has two children. One was 17, one was 20, two boys. The his 20 youngest year old was 15 at the time, and we were very close. And Ms. Tucker, you, three minutes are running out very, very fast. Come on. I paid every single household bill from and? June to January. Good. Great. And you live there? I did not live there. Okay. We're done. You have a stupid counterclaim. I'm going to tell you what your stupid counterclaim is. While she was there and her daughter was visiting, according to you, one of her children, who she had for a visit, left a box of chocolates out, and your deceased wife's chihuahua ate the chocolate and died. That's one. And then she was baking cookies another time and left cookies out, and the other chihuahua ate some more chocolate and had to go to the vet. Correct. That's what you want me to listen to? Yes. You know I went to postgraduate school for seven years? Goodbye.